Good afternoon, everyone. I am Penny, president of Whitney Art LLC, and we are coming to you today live from Little Richard Park in beautiful Macon, Georgia. For those who don't know, Little Richard was born here in Macon, Georgia on December 5th, 1932. And he is known as the architect of rock and roll. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good name to have, I would say. Um, so we are going to go ahead and um, pan around and show you, show you all the, the park so you can see wh what we're, where we are at. And then we're going to go ahead and let Whitney get started on this beautiful painting we are doing today on this gorgeous day. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Here it is December 12th and yes, I'm ready to get started. It is night it is seven, 70 degrees out. Absolutely gorgeous. That's what you get when you live in Macon, Georgia. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Gorgeous. All right, Whitney, let's go ahead really and nice. let you get started. Okay, there is a ton going on with this one. And then there's not. So there is a plan. <clears throat> the plan is to do a little bit a little bit different today. Let me have your phone. So <laughs> there you go. I'm Whitney. I'm a um, studio commission artist. My specialty is buildings and homes, and I love to do plein air. And we love to support our community and show our community the beautiful things that we have right here in Macon. And we're gonna get, it's a little bit windy, but we did that at the beach, and it was so windy. Uh, this, is, this painting could, could topple. So we're gonna have an interesting day we're going to do some gorilla plein air today. Whoa. And in the when it gets cold, I don't, we, we mentioned we're going to do we'll do the stu we'll do something in the studio. Right now, we are doing this amazing view. What I was going to Okay, so what I wanted to do a little bit different today is start with my dark spaces. This is something that the oil painters love to do is start with the dark colors. Look at this, honey. So, this is going to be interesting. Alright, we got these trees here are gorgeous. These will get darker. I want to get them really dark. Darker than it would it looks like. Um, like well, I don't know. <laughs> it does look that dark, actually. This is good. Okay, so I'm at high chroma right here with this dark. I can have dark low chroma, which is going to be in the background which I'm not going to put any dark in my da background dark is will be a little bit it will have some atmosphere in it which is what the white is all right I'm going to define this uh, I think I've got what I want for the roof and then what this will be is the front will be light value, hopefully. We got to talk to Yolanda Lattimore, uh, and she is amazing. We love her, I, we believe. 
Where? In that tree. Where? <laughs> we'll look at it. So we got the sun coming up, coming up this way. We'll see some shadows. Get some occlusion um, shadow under this log. And some of these shadows right here. Go ahead and put some of these in here. We're gonna do some overlap with, the, with these bushes. It's gonna be a little darker on this end. So looking at the shape of it, where this shape, I want to establish, maybe it moved it, move it this way a little bit. All right, and then we'll start coming into the background, get a little bit more body on it so that you can really start seeing it where it's at. And that'll get that that part of it all right and so look at the bottoms the bottoms of the, your shapes right here uh, I've got there's a shadow a defined specific shadow right there where this box this flower box is love um, that people care about where they live you know it just makes sense doesn't it <laughs> it makes sense to care about where they live this is why paint was invented beauty is a very important part of our life without it you know what would we be amazing lord of the flies i think so here we go okay and we'll look at I'm at my biggest brush What we have I've got the number 12 Say a flat filbert kind of style. It's not round, but I can make I Can do pretty good on it making a lot of good shapes with it All right now let's think about what I want to do is add some <clears throat> And put the sky in there so I'm gonna drop come down with my with these with these limbs after I put the sky in so I will put them on top of that so I'm not worried about it. it'll bleed I don't want it to bleed through so we'll make that dry that off what a beautiful day yes gorgeous day and in my mind, I, uh, the, 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 the plan is to let me step back at this point and look at it. So I have, that's where I want, okay, that's where I want the white at. Then this is the white white. No, actually the unbleached white would work, which is right here. And I will get that in there. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Got a leaf on it. Okay, here we go. So what I'll do, I'm not I don't want to mix it everything in because I'll go high chroma, then I'll have my white, which I call it atmosphere. I have some atmosphere back here. And this will be before I put any green on it. I would just put the white down on there. So white back there. Just get the shapes. And look at where see these trees. Beautiful. Just this tree. A lot of limbs on this tree like that oh man these are the kind of things and you guys know what i'm talking about when you get whew, when you start something and you're like wow i'm gonna cover that up 
how it goes that's the beauty of it it's like when you're flying in the airplane and you pass a beautiful cloud that's it the cloud dissipates and rains and does its thing all the cycle so you'll see what this does this is the atmosphere it puts atmosphere between the high chroma and the low chroma but it's the same it's the same color same value And if I get those, what we're going to do up here is put the rest of it in in a minute. Okay, I want to put that there. Yeah, I do. That's for later. Okay. Now, what I want to do is wash that out. Honey, put that. Let's say, well, I have a plastic bag. If I put this in a plastic bag, it won't dry out and then I'll put it in the shade too and we're not very far from historic Linwood Park which we believe is an outdoor museum it's incredible I know we've talked about it before and we love it it's so beautiful the trees were often used hey Martha this is Martha Tisdale do you want to introduce yourself we're on camera over here. There is Martha. It's such a beautiful day. It is gorgeous. Wow, we love it. It was fantastic. I'm glad that it turned out good. It's a little bit windy. And the wind's been blowing this way. So I got a I got a brick holding the tripod down. Uh-huh. Awesome. It's so big, it's a huge, it's beautiful. I've never seen this park before. This is amazing. It's a beautiful park. It is, yeah. We love it. Oh, yeah. I thought his house was on one of these streets over here. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is such a beautiful area, and it's so historic. Yeah. It goes, uh, it's, it's just incredible. I got to spend a little bit of time right here. I wanted to take a little extra time with that and uh, enjoy that a little bit. And that's always fun. Um, I hope I didn't forget my green. And I love this. And I like to mix green and get some green in there. Awesome, awesome. So, whoa, we don't want to blow away. <laughs> what we're gonna do is I want to establish <sighs> the plan. The no, the no plan plan. Thank you. And let's see what I wanted to do. I'm gonna, what I'll do, I wanted to put the wash of white green in here real quick. Let's see. Wow, 
I have it? Where do I have it? This is where I really take our time with it. Start. I'm going to start right here at the bottom too. Let's see. Love this thick body. It's able to you can, it's able to really get on there good, spread out. Almost like a watercolor. Now what kind of paint? Wonderful. Get one of the get one of these tubes and and um, hold it up there. I'll show you. Is that one of the questions? Mm-hmm. So this is Master Touch thick body. Which one did you get? That's Hooker's Green. That's what I'm using right now. And this is apple leaf. It's the color of uh, apple leaf. Hooker was the guy that actually is credited with the color. And he was a... <laughs> he was a botanist. He was a herb naturist. Naturist. So the question, we have a question. What's the question? It is, what is this house? This All right, this is the Little Richard. Little Richard house. Little Richard house. I love the color of that house. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah, and I'm go that's going to be Naples yellow. And then what I'll do with the, put the Naples yellow in the house, I will put. Hunter. Okay, I don't know. This is a, the third time we've had this wind is blowing. We're gonna, it's gonna knock that over. I don't know. If it flow, if it falls over. And we got Martha Tisdale is with us today. She's gonna come out here and we're gonna paint. She went to go get her materials. Fantastic. And we have our art is, if you wanna see these, Penny, if you want to see these, these, these are, you can see these at uh, Oatmogie Arts on Vineville. Yep. And the frame shop on, in Ingleside Village. Uh, both, the, either, either place you can go see these if uh, they have, incredible. So this is the hill. So you can be able to see. And the whole, the idea, what we want to do is, it, it, the point, the whole, the goal is to have fun and clean your artistic palette out. Huh? You just sprayed me. No. <laughs> this is the artistic sherbet for you, right there. Get the high chroma. What I want to do, all right, here's the plan, my plan at the moment. I don't want to cover up the house, even though there's leaves all over here at the moment. I might, I want to get something down here to see what I'm Now, that needs more blue, that needs more yellow, whatever we need. But we'll get it down there to start with, just like this. So here we have our overlap. Okay, now. At this point, I want to add a little bit more, and I hope we get the red in there. We're gonna get the red, I know. I got the, so put, I'm gonna, I will go ahead and put my alizarin in here, a teeny bit. I ought to put it over here, cause I might use a little bit of that later. What color is that? So the alizarin is going to give my green, it's gonna put the green back further. There's all kinds of, there's all kinds of, of, of ways that, things that you can do. See, watch this. Okay. So here's alizarin in the green. I'm, I'm going to be back here with it. So this is green that's been, all right, so now way back here. This green. That oh, I wish it, I'm gonna actually try to put that tree in there. Wow, look at that! Mm, wow, and 
and that's Georgia is known for these trees it's amazing these trees you can get one there's some in Linwood we're having pecans Put too much in that one. All right, here we go. And it's very relaxing. You can't mess up. Can't make a mistake. And it's fun to just, you know, see the beautiful things that we have in our community. It's 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 amazing. And you know like martha said sometimes we just don't know what's right here Ooh, you know what i got i got ahead of myself sophia roundtree says really nice thank you awesome and hey uh you say sophia or sarah sophia charlotte constantine okay all right what i want to do this sky, this sky is very inspiring today. Wow, and it has it has a red shade. I want to uh, I want to go ahead and look at this sky because this sky is brilliantly gorgeous. And there are happy clouds up there. Hey, there's some happy clouds up there. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna spray. How much time do we have? Wow, so time goes by so quickly. You know, it feels like I've probably done about two minutes. And I'm looking for my titanium white. And thank you so much for this. You guys, I run out of this white. And you guys know that, 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 that do this too. You use white and it's so beautiful and it's important to have a good quality white as well because the white is a color All right do you know did you know that white is a color white is a color <laughs> yes <laughs> you would think it's not a color well it's not really a color is it it's white bianco so we're going to use it today we're going to use lots of it and look i'm going to put this up there because i like to do I like to do these and I encourage you if you want to see these you can ask to handle them you can touch them you can handle these touch them whatever Charlotte you is asking is this the house where little Richard grew up we're gonna we'll find out more information about that yep. I would think that it is and it or something where he was either born or grew up and I know there we go now that was just for that now we're gonna get this you know what I better make sure this thing is yeah I got it tight so one of the things that is always a consideration is how what do you do a lot of times it doesn't matter because the edges normally don't normally if there is normal what do you think is normal <laughs> do you think anything's normal is there a normal there probably is generally Not in, the paint world. in the generally mo oh boy here's the cord generally if it will be framed no no problem i wouldn't worry it's the house he grew up in awesome childhood home very nice i wouldn't worry about that too much and look just to show you what i'll do what i mean is that's the way it is that's how you do it so right here i'll put more darker sky at the top And then it comes down. And what I'm doing in the painting is I'm going to exa I will I will I will exaggerate it. I'm going to exaggerate it. I'm going to go way up here 
well, you know what? I don't even have to exaggerate it because it's that way. Anyway, and that's what one of the objects and the goals to get that angle, imperceptible, imperceptive, perceptive thing that we were talking about before come down in there and what's interesting at some point it takes on a man, it just takes on a life of its own you start start to because it has that red it has that red tint tint in it I used use use usually use the green green tinted blue look at that this thing's gonna take off we're gonna go sailing you know what we need to go get a kite fly the kite we need to fly the kite today but it's a little bit it's a little bit erratic it comes and goes in fact it'll probably wear us out i haven't it takes quite a bit of energy to fly a kite I guess that why would somebody say go fly a kite? Because <laughs> you got a lot of energy and you, you want to run around and fly a kite. And I'm going to, I got a lot of energy. I'm going to run around and fly a kite. So that, that would be something that I would enjoy. Go fly a kite. Have fun. So we're gonna bring the sky down here. We'll get a lot really lighter. And what you can do, you're, I would get the sky in first, and then to paint the paint these limbs and everything after after I get a nice beautiful sky in there. Love this color. And there's a lot of different ways you can do the sky. Maybe multiple ways. In fact, I would say, you know, I'm gonna be really bold here. All right. And everybody, as you know, I've got strong opinions about a lot of things that don't matter. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be as bold, bold, as bold as I can be here and say every single painting of a sky is different. Did I just blow your mind? Mind blown. <laughs> but they're all the same. <laughs> Did I even blow it more? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't feel the Look, that sky right there is different than any other sky, but it's the same sky. We're all different. different perspective. We're all different people. Right. But we're all the same. I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> Good idea. But we'll get some more sky in there. Look at those beautiful clouds. Wow. Love them. Those are cirrus clouds, look like that. Beautiful. You guys see that? And all I want to do is I want to write a note. So, what a plain air sketch is, is I'm writing notes. I'm taking notes. I'm looking. Looking at the colors. I'll go out and get some of the leaves. Right there. This is beautiful. And this this tree is trees were used. Okay, so what I was I don't know if I got into it. Trees were used to represent like what do you as if you want to have a bury be buried and plant a tree. I would think, I would say, make it a pecan tree. It's getting there, y'all. 
It's getting there. Give it some tender love. That's what it needs, right? And don't tell it that it's bad or wrong. There's, there's, that will hold you back. We don't want to do that. We need all of the artists of the world to, we all need to work together and, and help each other. And that's how the internet was created. Million, thousands and thousands of internet programmers um, bat, gathered together all from all over the world and created the programs that we use now that actually runs the internet. And it was a altruistic venture by everyone that knew the importance of the internet and we see the results of that technology right now because you're watching something halfway maybe halfway around the world that you could see here that you know we we do and it's amazing it's a it's a, it's a wonderful thing we love it I th the internet is a great a, a great and wonderful tool that we can use to to um and what we want to do is use it to show you guys the most the the amazing things that we have in making incredible and it's re look at the building it's encouraging we have a lot of hope and a lot of hope for our future for sure for sure for sure i mean why not why not right <laughs> why not uh, not. They're having a meeting over here to, you know, for, to, you know, uh, there's so many people that want a better, they want to live in a better world and we will. All right. So let's see what I got. What I want to do, there's no blue there. Ooh, right here would look good. That brings those out and I would put that in later hopefully I'll it'll stay there I don't want to over cover any of that up and there's a building out there that I wanted to try to represent somehow that building beautiful okay continue on put a couple of highlights here all right now my favorite part like every part is my favorite part you know that <laughs> every part i love doing the skies i love doing the skies when as in the watercolor skies i want to you do it and not touch it but look look i need to I want to do this real quick so before this is I want it to be somewhat consistent between the branches here see what I mean like I want the whole flow I want to look at everything to I want to look at everything as a whole and separate and I'm gonna leave that I promise I want to look at it separate and as a whole and separate and not like because I do this mostly most of the time I'll do I want to do the sky first and then put that over on top of the sky All right you know what I'm talking about so you do that and then I have the brush strokes this way and that's okay that would be interesting put something right there yeah there it is right there it was just a little bit more green and that will come down and kind of connect those and that's all you got to do right there and boom all of a sudden that's way back there and then right there gorgeous look at this and you sit here and play with it there you go okay now Naples yellow is what I wanted to do is take this because this is a D 
Let me see. Let's see what I'm gonna say. How I'm gonna say it. Hmm. Low value. I'm gonna get this wrong and I'm gonna go back and say, oh, I'm gonna have to say this again. So I'm just not gonna clean this brush. And I'll say it if I can, if I remember. <laughs> Woo, this is so much fun. You guys, I got my logo on my pencil. It's exciting. If you come by, you know, maybe next year. We so it's going to get cold, but if you want one of these, let me know because we we I will give you a pencil if you talk about me and promote me and as by saying, "Hey, you know, you can paint too if you want to." And a lot of people can do this. Want to do it? Love it. Absolutely love to do it. right and look if you want to do a private session or if you want to do something where you just want personal one-on-one -on -one attention and you want to really get the details about what uh how to do something like this so that you can enjoy it and you get the basic foundation of how to do it then you can venture out on your own and explore all the different possibilities i would be completely willing to uh show you all that and that and and more and anything that you would be willing to learn is absolutely fantastic okay so here's what i wanted to say i'm going to take the the yellow and i'm going to represent that the house is yellow here with the with these values and I want to leave the white, so I'm not going to connect any strokes. Each stroke will be on its own, not in it with each other like this. So I'll have one here. Uh, we have comments. Do you want to hear them? Yes, please. And then one there. Paula says, "Beautiful. I am painting this at home. I wish I could be there." Awesome. That's wonderful, Paula. And then. Heather McLaughlin, uh, McLaurin, sorry. So oh, yeah, we love her. It's fascinating to watch the process unfold. I love this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is. It's, it's amazing. And we love it, too. And I'm just as thrilled, you know, to, to have it, to see it come, uh, come alive as anything. And we've never, we haven't done this one before. And we love it. This is one of what inspires me the most. If you guys have any ideas or if you want to see us do one of these, message me and contact me and contact us. You can talk to me or Penny or Samantha and we can, we would love to do that. And in fact, uh, I posted this, this event a little bit late because uh, I couldn't quite decide what, what view I wanted to do with it. And this was the most inspiring, and I love this log. And look, we need to get to we need to get to this log. And while I still have some yellow, let's say uh, what I wanted to do. Okay, so what I want to do is talk about this yellow. Let me stay on track. So I'm like I used to play chess a lot, and I would get five moves ahead, and then I wouldn't be thinking about this move over here. So there's a lot to think about, even in painting, and it does get it can get complicated. So what I want to do is simplify everything and so that you can start out with a very simple idea and then go from there and, exp and expand on that. So we're going to put purple. I'm going to put some brilliant purple. And I know little Richard would have loved brilliant purple. <laughs> Woohoo! It puts some brilliant purple in the yellow right here. And it's the same principle as when I put the red, the alizarin, and the green. And the, it, uh, wow, what does it do? Well, you'll see. What it does is it makes the yellow in the shade. So I just kind of mix it, and it does it so that it looks like the edge of that house. Like that's in the shade. And there's 
that one. And this is pretty thick right here too. I haven't put any, I don't I haven't had it put it in water in it. And this one. So this is gonna be this is very opaque. This is where all of the house is in the shadow. And look at that, there's that shadow right there. This one. I don't know how well you can see down there, but it's pretty cool. Love it. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, what, what I'm gonna do? What I want to do is get some my yellows in the foreground too. Did I get you again? Yep. This is gonna really give it that. Uh, wonderful feeling that you're you're looking at it I'm right here I can see uh, we can just have fun you know I want to paint can I do one sure <laughs> what do you want to do what do you want to do let me do a breast stroke Okay, let me, let's see what, uh, what we can do. Let's put, let's do some yellow in here. I mean, literally like one breaststroke. <laughs> 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 so I can say I had, you know, something to do with painting. Okay. okay. All right. Let me get you something. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. what you can do <laughs> can you paint that limb up there <laughs> do this start right here and just look at that limb mm -hmm. look at that limb and just paint it go down there and then go like this and put the little curl on the end of it look at it look how it is you see it this one right here yeah just paint like paint that whatever you see and it's it's going to be a paint mark it's so you're not going to see a tree limb right you're going to see a paint stroke perfect thank you that's, <laughs> that's beautiful thank you i love it i love it i love thank it you. and what i'll do is now i'll i will i will i will demonstrate my version of what I would do okay. on a limb to represent it. I would go down there and find the curves and look at how it goes. That trees tend to want to grow up. You, did you know that? They want to grow up? <laughs> I didn't know that did you they know? Grow up instead of down. <laughs> trees want to grow up. Wow. That is. That's deep, Whitney. And <laughs> so at the very end of the limb, the limbs are going to point up. So if you look, look at this one, so it's coming back down here. It's, see how it goes up right there? Ooh, it goes up. And look how you did yours amazing. I'm going to add to it. There you go. And you can see how amazing that is. Yep. And see over here, we want to balance that out. And we'll put a limb right here. See that? And then one right here. And you can spend as you know as long as you want. the uh, The idea is just to get uh, get the idea of what it is, so that when you look at it, uh, the next time you look at it, it'll remind you, "Hey, wow! <laughs> look at what I did." 
And then you see where these come out and they come out like this. Go around like that. This one comes out, go down, around there. And then you got this tree in the background. All these limbs. But we get like the remnants of the yellow, like it used to be. I put some le some leaves in there, so we can remember. We'll say, okay, I re we'll remember. There was a lot of leaves here, and you see almost. If you think of it as in triangles, maybe you can put leaves in there. They're all kind of brown now. Look. There is one. There's some back there. And I put it in like this. There's some back there that are this color. Honey. Look. Look at that. There's some on the ends of the trees and you can't see the the uh, we'll put that one little leaf right there. There you go. And Let's see, where we got now, we still got high chroma, we got a lot of yellow. A lot of the yellows are gonna be up here. You need to work on your log, you got 15 minutes. Huh? You got 15 minutes, you need to work on your log. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, <laughs> we wanna get the log for sure, and I definitely wanna get some of the, some of these uh, features over here. Oh, just gorgeous. And this is where when I get kind of in the middle ground, I'm going to start I'm going to start doing away with no more yellows. This is Yolanda, Penny. Samantha. This is Yolanda. This is Yolanda. We certainly appreciate everything you do. It's it's incredible. Oh yeah. It's important. It is. It's making so great. It's so historical. It's something we can certainly be proud of. Absolutely. How much is this one going for? You want to go out? Tell her. Look at this. This is incredible. I wanted to get this for sure. And I'm going to put a little bit more blue and a little red in there all at the same time. We get this beautiful little bush out there. It's gorgeous. And there's another one right there. All right. Now I'm going to put more yellow. This increases the value of it right here to get some a little bit more interest where you can start seeing it perfect i don't want to cover up and what i want to look for here is i don't want to cover up anything that's nice i want to kind of cover up anything when i start to go into my if I want to cover something up, it's what's so good about uh, having no plan is that, hey, you know, I can kind of do whatever I want. <laughs> I could have more of these trees. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have to play with it. Oh, it's a 
so good. This is getting into the good part. So I wanted to pick up, figure, stand back and look at it at some point. And I need to mix some ultramarine black. overlapping uh, concrete oh and the sun is so beautiful look at that I'm just gonna leave it when in doubt leave it leave it you do that I do that because here's what's gonna happen a couple of weeks from now I'll look at it again and I'll be like wow that's amazing because it dries different totally different color you'll look at it we'll show you I will show you all right now what do we want to do look at it some more take a look here I haven't put any I haven't done a whole lot and I'm gonna mix, try to get this color. Like this. Oh yeah. So you can see inside the bush bushes Definitely have yellow, uh, yellow, blue, got my burnt numbers, Put the dark parts on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more dark because I guess I need it. And of course, if you ever, <laughs> if you want to know if any, any, any idea, if you wanted to know what kind of burnt umber and ultramarine blue green shade that I mix, why I mix it with the burnt umber because it doesn't have that blue it doesn't have the red shade in it when you got five minutes wow all right so Flies by. yes it does and i just now i mix it and what you can do put this in uh plastic and put this in a plastic bag it'll last for a couple of weeks it's really good all right now i got some really darks 
and I like to go from light dark to light and now I'm back to dark really make this nice Painting. Okay, what is that? What is that? Fresh air. Fresh air. There's the paint, like what we're doing outside, out, whatever you see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, we paint uh, every week, every Saturday, we do new painting around Macon uh -huh. at all the different parts. Yeah. So. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We like to highlight the beautiful things in the neighborhood, and uh, when we're focused on what's beautiful, we can fix what's not and yes, it's easy. Yes, sir. You know, and it's amazing. Yeah. And we know, you know, we're human, you know, we're part of the community. I was born and raised here and I've traveled all over the world and I've, I've been in the Navy and I've been to Italy and, and, and places that the culture is just absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. And we want to bring that to Macon and celebrate the wonderful things that are in Macon uh -huh. that we all we all can appreciate you know what and that's what makes this world a better place yeah. it's because look at somebody cared enough to say look we need culture we need art we need beauty this is going to fix the actual problem and we're not putting band-aids on anything no more mm -hmm. you know we're going to solve the problems mm -hmm. because we're we're at that point where you know we need to do something no doubt. You know, we need to find those people that are creative and that understand and can see the beauty in the world and can share that in positive ways. In loving ways. In loving ways. Mm -hmm. You know, try love. In loving ways, we can be strong and beautiful at the same time. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you part of the Southern Health community? Yes, ma'am. Do have a good meeting? We did. That's it. We we appreciate what y'all are doing too, and we're behind y'all. We support y'all. I used to throw papers in this neighborhood. Okay. And what's your name again? My name is Whitney. Whitney. Okay. Yeah, that's Penny. And oh yeah. 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 And we wanna we wanna empower you. We wanna inspire you. Yeah. And we when you inspire someone, I know you do. I can feel it. I can feel it. You're an inspiring gentleman. And, and when you do that, you help heal the world. And when we have thousands of us all over the world doing that, guess what? Can you can only imagine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only imagine. It's incredible. Well, it's a wonderful day to do this. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful scene. You've got a lot of stuff going on up here. Well, it's, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And, uh, and where, where are you all going next? I don't know. We uh, usually by Tuesday we, we determine where our next. Connect with me on Facebook. Follow me, and you'll okay. see we put the events up there, okay. and then you can. you I would love to know where you would maybe like to see uh, celebrated. Okay. Yeah. 
and that's what we want to do and and you know we meet young artists that are on on their way to a beautiful career that it and those young artists need to know that our job is to inspire and uplift the world as an artist what other profession can it can do it yes indeed yeah i mean we're like doctors heal the body artists heal the soul that's right and it's a it's a noble profession it sure is I totally agree. Absolutely. I love it. And we have a great work to do here, right here in Macon, we believe is the creative capital, one of the creative capitals of the world. Absolutely. I totally agree. And we love Glasgow, UK, all of the great places all over, all over. Yeah. And we celebrate anything that uplifts and inspires. You absolutely do. And that's a good thing. Like you say, that's a noble cause. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's where we're all the same. Yeah. See that sky, you'll never see that sky again, but that sky will always be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. It's nice to meet you. Take care. you too. Bye. Absolutely. So I want to get a, a last little bit of high chroma in there. All right, let's go over a little bit because I want to put this in there. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it with my uh, with my. Look at that big globby glob. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. All right, so this we have. Oh, by the way, all right. So this is Indian yellow. I love it. Beautiful color. My grandma said, "Great job." Thank you. Wipe it off. All right, now this is where I want to put it. Wait, wait this dry a little bit. Why do you think I got such a bath on it? All right. If you put, don't cover too much up with the black and put it right there. That's gonna make that amazing. Hey, that's the uh, look. What well, this? That's the the thing right over there. Look at that. I mean, can you see it? What's that tractor? <laughs> can you see it back there? Huh? Can you see it? That's funny. Huh. Paula said that you were so wonderful to take the time with those that walk by. Thank you. And, and we do. People are important. My grandma said to be so talented is a blessing. Thank you. That's so kind of you. And it, it is. And we want to share this with you and, the, and everybody that, that loves art and beautiful things. Put that in there. I believe it, it's very important. It's very important to um, to appreciate art. It's what it's going to solve a lot of problems indirectly. It's going to indirectly help us all out. All right, I might do a little bit more, but we don't want to go too far into the time. So who's going to? All right, Samantha. Uh, you got this. All right. Well, thank you. Everybody have a good evening. Once again, we're over at the Little Richard house at 416 Craft Street here in Macon. Y'all have a nice evening. Happy holidays. <laughs>